Hello and welcome to another Bedford Consulting Spotlight video. In this video we're going to take a quick look at the different types of dashboards or pages available in Anaplan and when to use one over the other. Here I am in the new app and you can see when I choose to create a page I have the choice between a board or a worksheet. Both can be used for reporting and analysis as well as for data entry. Both allow you to include grids of data along with charts and KPIs and both allow for multiple people to use them concurrently automatically filtered for each individual's security. So which one to choose? To show this, I'm going to use a couple I've already created. Firstly, a board. As you can see, a board allows you to combine a variety of components or cards together on the same page. From data cards, such as KPIs, grids of information and charts, to supporting cards, such as images, text boxes with links to other dashboards and actions such as adding the ability to run a data import process directly from the dashboard. If I choose to edit this page, you can see I have complete control over the placement and size of each card on this page. For example, I can choose to increase the size of this grid versus the pie chart, or I can choose to make this chart span the width of the entire page. You can see boards are great at giving a clean visual view of data, focusing on core metrics and KPIs. They are also great at enabling users to edit a small selection of data, and like every data change in Anaplan, immediately see the results of that change throughout the model. For example, changing my unit sold in January to 50,000, and being able to see the impact of that down to net income, and any charts we have on the board as well. But what if you want to make changes to or analyze a larger set of data? This is where a worksheet can help. You see I can use my heading here to navigate through to a different dashboard, in this case, to my revenue planning worksheet. Like a board, I can include charts and other information on my additional insights pane, but importantly, I'm able to minimize this pane to just focus on the core data set. In this case, planning down to gross margin by product. In a worksheet, an end user is able to easily amend their view of data as they work by using filters, sorting, and the option to show and hide slices of data at will so they can focus on one area at a time. Expanding the additional insight pane again allows for navigation to other dashboards as well as being able to pop out any of these cards into the main contents pane. This could be a chart to allow users to easily see the effect of data changes visually, for example seeing how January units change has already flowed through, or even to include drivers to the main data. Here I have the price book, which you can see drives the price list line for each product. If I choose to change the price adjustment from 2% to 5% on last year, you can see my unit sales price has increased to 126 and that's flowed through to the product as well. When done, I can then move this grid back into the right-hand pane and see my full data set again. Okay, so in summary, the worksheet option is probably the best choice for any large-scale data entry or analysis being performed by the users, while boards are probably the better choice when wanting to combine different cards of information all together on the same page, especially if they're being used as a reporting summary. If in doubt, cards you have created on one page can be saved as a template for use on other pages, so it's very quick to build both and to see which one you and the other users prefer. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you want any more information about building pages in Anaplan, or perhaps you're not yet using Anaplan and would like a more detailed demonstration, please contact us and we'll be happy to help.